We're back. This is Let's Have, uh, Let's have It On. Uh, we don't have enough time to do the intros. My name is Vusi Temeguayo at Vusi Temeguayo on all the social media platforms. We're having a conversation about how do you drive economic transformation? How do you include small business, which in this country is a pseudonym for black business in the mainstream economy, which is also a pseudonym for typically white business? I'm joined by CEO of Sakalich, uh, Pete Leroux. And before we went off air, we were chatting a bit about the role legislation plays in, and policy plays in driving the South Africa we want to see specifically for the future. So I just want to quickly ask you this question. When you hear the word like transformation, what, what comes to, what's your idea of transformation? Lucy, I just have to add something to the, what you said now. Go for it. It's, I'd be hesitant to call uh, uh, small and medium-sized enterprises synonym with black. Really, um, our organization, we have excess of 12,000 sure. members. They're all small, medium-sized guys. And uh, I think we hope to grow. So I think there's more yeah. to be had and expand this. Um, so uh, we share, I think, a lot of the challenges um, the small business uh, owners of, of all color would share. Sure. I, I suppose what I'm saying is, if you were quantitatively to take the number of pe black people who are in no both the formal and informal economy, I mean, uh, with the greatest of respect, I think if I took just the ladies in Joburg alone who stand on the side of the roads and sell tomatoes out of plastic packets, I'd have more people than you have members in your organization. So what I'm saying is, it's, it's not that there, there are, and by the way, we have them in our fund, we fund them, right? So I'm very clear that there are those people, but I'm saying it wouldn't be hard to make that, uh, that adjustment. Let's, let's quickly just maybe have this conversation. So what's, how, what role are you guys hoping to play in actualizing transformation for South Africa? How are you becoming part of becoming a better South Africa that is inclusive of all races? Uh, Vusi, transformation is a problematic term. Huh? It's uh, many defini definitions for many people, but in the end, the, the problem is when you drill down uh, into policy speak and you, uh, you drill down into what people mean, they tend to get to the point where they say everything should be demographically representative. Yes. 80% so, 10% yes. so, 10% yes, that. Yes. And that, once you adopt that as your yardstick for how society should look, then things, things become very centralist. Yeah. Uh, so, our position is free market and our position is let a thousand flowers bloom. And that's a good position to have if you understand economics well. Because you can unlock the social capital and financial capital of, let's say, our members. And it won't be to the detriment of anybody else. And, we, and the, the great thing of today, opposed to 30 years ago, is uh, it would make sense for our members to um, uh, have economic relationships across um, racial groups in South Africa. Yeah. So we're yeah. very happy about yeah. that. Yeah. But we're very hesitant yeah. about the artificial way it's currently yeah. being done. Yeah. Strictly a government, you know, bureaucrats don't do this well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was my, uh, my guest, Pete Leroux. I've thoroughly enjoyed hosting the show. I uh, hope you've enjoyed having me hosting the show. It went by so quickly, right, Pete? We got, we got a lot out of there. Thank you so much for having joined us. I just want to say very quickly to the viewers at home, to everybody that is a consumer, you have the responsibility to drive transformation. Transformation is not driven by black businesses or large businesses. It's driven by who you buy from, where you consume, who you support, and make sure that you support small businesses. And to every single South African watching the show, regardless of your race, you are either for the transformation project or you're against it. You're either working to build a better South Africa or you're working against it. And working together, I think we go much farther than working against each other. However, we can't work against each other at the same time by keeping our own interests. I hope you've enjoyed having me here. This has been Let's Have It Out. Remember, hashtag L-H-I-O. Cheers. <laughs>